So I've had a few questions whether you can use the Crane M3 with the Sigma 16 millimeter and the Canon M50. And generally what people are asking is, is are the motors strong enough? And this is the setup here, sort of a vlogging setup. And yes, the motors are strong enough. There's absolutely no problem. It, it balances fine and there's plenty of power in the motors. What you are going to run into is when you try to go into the underslung mode, it's actually going to hit the eyepiece on the camera. Now, if you're using it for vlogging, you're probably either going to have a microphone on top or you're going to have a just a small wireless microphone. I've got the DD Pocket Wireless on right now, and that is going to hit the DD Pocket Wireless if I'm using that anyways. So if I'm using a microphone, I'm not going to be able to go into underslung mode anyway. So yes, it works. You can't go into underslung mode, and you. but if you have a microphone on top, you're not going to be able to go, go into underslung mode anyways. But there is a workaround, and basically if you take it and just slowly turn the camera like this, now we're in underslung mode and we've just got there via a different method. We haven't gone the back, we have just turned to the side. And the gimbal seems to be designed that once you get to a certain point, it flips sideways and then it flips back up. Now I'll just show you how that actually performs, how the stabilization works. So we'll go for a little bit of a walk and then you can kind of see how it looks. Uh, I'm also staying in like a, an Australian nature reserve right now. So we'll see if we can find some kangaroos and we'll show you the kangaroos. All right, so this is how stable it is. It is quite stable, as you can see. And um, yeah, there's no, no problem with the motors whatsoever. Now we've got a little kangaroo just over here. And I'm just gonna double tap this and flip this around. So as you can see, they're pretty, pretty tame. <laughs> we'll go for a walk, we'll see if we see anything else. But um, I just wanna give you some idea of the stability, how stable it's gonna be. And really it is extremely stable. I'm not getting any jumps or jitters whatsoever. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with it. I also think the DD Pocket Wireless is a quite good combination with this setup. It sort of balances quite, quite well. Now we got a little bit of a bigger, this is a little bit of a bigger boy kangaroo coming up here. We'll see if he lets us get very close. He's just cleaning himself. I'll just flip you around now so you can have a look. Oh, oh, here's a little, there's a little one on the other side of the fence here. I think these two are talking to each other. Actually, I think that is a little, maybe a girl. How are you guys going? How are you guys going? All right, and all I have to do with this gimbal is when I'm gonna flip it into vlogging mode again, I just triple click and then it swings around and sort of points back at me. This is sort of the time of day when uh, the animals are mostly out and a little bit later, there'll be koalas wandering around as well. But as you can say, it's pretty stable, uh, no issues with shaking. And if you do get a little bit of bobble or a little bit of shaking, all I've done is I've just used the auto calibrate mode. But if you are getting a little bit of wobble, all you gotta do is turn up the motors, the motor strength, it has a motor strength setting. So if you are getting some bobbling around, you just turn up the motor strength setting to sort that out. 
All right, let's see if we can find any more kangaroos or koalas to show you guys. This is basically just a sort of a wilderness reserve in sort of the middle of some farmland. So you can see there's not much going on, just sort of little water inlets and and farmland and then campsites, just campsites around. So, uh, all right, let's see what else we can find. Here's a couple more little guys. This one looks like it's got a baby in its pouch. Yeah, definitely. See how it's got a big pouch and the pouch is kind of moving. I don't know if you can see that pouch moving. That's the baby in there. comes out, that'd be cool. So as you can see, it does, <laughs> I was trying to get that kangaroo in the background. <laughs> as you can see, the Sigma 16 millimeter does work with the Canon M50 and the Crane M3. You can't go into under slung mode the traditional manner. You have to do it in the manner that I've just showed you, but it does work fine and the motors are strong enough to give you plenty of stability. The other question I'm often getting is whether you can use the small rig cage with the Canon M50 and the Crane M3, and you can, yes, it does work. There's no problem there. Uh, with the Sigma 16 millimeter and the Canon M50, yes, that works, that combination's fine, and I think it's very stable and very usable as well. Just keeping in mind that you can't go into the underslung mode the traditional way. You have to go in in sort of that workaround way that I just showed you. Any other questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.